Uh, welcome back guys to the channel. Um, yeah, we're moving off today. Why that so Those. Moving off on the Droitwich Canal guys. First cruise on the Droitwich Canal. We're heading towards Droitwich itself today and we're going to moor up in the basin. Um, yeah, it's a lovely Monday. I think this forecast rain later, so that's what we're getting going now. Well, we had to do some stuff, didn't we, Mum? It is quite late already. Uh, half eleven. Um, yeah, we've been busy over the last few days because um, first we had to walk back seven miles on the day we got here, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. We had to walk that back was seven a... miles on the day we got here. That was a slog. <laughs> yeah. It was horrible. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, we had to walk seven miles down the seven. First, we had to walk on the road here, and then we got onto the, uh, the seven way. Um, which is about seven miles back to the car. Come on, expose, <laughs> please. Oh my God, camera. Why did I buy a thirteen hundred pound camera? What's the point? Take your time. We had a couple of obstacles in the way, one being a fallen tree, which we literally climbed in that way. Yeah. <laughs> and another one was there were some really uh, mad cows. We thought we were going to get trampled, but well, didn't we? <laughs> didn't oh, we? the cows, yeah. Um, yeah, because they had calves, yeah, they weren't calves, calves, didn't they? Yeah. And it didn't look too bad until we saw calves. Oh, and a big ball. And there was a big, yeah, the ball didn't do anything. They just totally ignored us, the ball. Unknowingly, we had to take a slight detour from the River Severn, as the first part at the junction at Holford is on private land. So unfortunately, we had to walk down the A449 for about a mile. Unfortunately, there's a tree down on the footpath. Is it on? No, just, I could just see myself. I think we really did. <laughs> I suppose if Josh could get through, I can. It says the towpath is closed, but it most certainly wasn't. Here they build a new fish ladder to enable the salmon to migrate. And there's the glove for the day. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to walk in fields with cows and some of them can be quite aggressive and there is a lot of deaths a year from cows. And there's the big muscular bull. He proved to be quite tame compared to the rest. Oh, beautiful rapes he feels, you really can beat it. After seven and a half miles and three and a half hours, we finally made it back to the car. Yeah, we called a mechanic, a local mechanic. Well, we asked you guys if you had any recommendations, and he said there's a couple of local ones. One was useless, said it was too yeah, busy Char for the job. Charlotte Duffy, thank you, darling. She, she um, recommended one garage, and they were absolutely very, very rude. No, can't do a big job like that, too busy. So that was, yeah, out the window. But St John's Garage in Worcester was very kind, yeah. guys. Did you ever bring it in? We'll look at it. So we're hoping it's not the twin turbo. I hope it's all It might be the DPF. DPF. If there's a DPF block, then it can sometimes affect the turbo and stuff like that. No, in our luck, it will be the twin turbo, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that's what we did today. Yeah, we just walked five miles back. We literally just walked five miles, hadn't had a rest. We got on the boat and just cruised. So we only sat down <laughs> um, and we've only had a cereal bar for breakfast. 
Yeah, we're a bit, a bit hungry. Uh, to do with a tuna and a sweet corn roll, I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, we walked back five miles today, exactly five miles, from uh, West War uh, Worcestershire, uh, St. John's, where the garage is. Um, it was quite a nice walk, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely, actually. It was along yeah. the Seven. Most of it was along the Seven. Mm. Not much in the town, was it, Josh? No. Nice. So we left it with him, and hopefully it should be done by, well, before Thursday. Hopefully. Well, That's we have we told him again. that don't do anything if we can't get it back, yeah. have it back Thursday, because Andy needs it for the weekend. Yeah. He's down um, near Exeter. Mm. So Next it's quite weekend. close to where we came from. Yeah. Um, me and Mum have done a couple of circle walks over the last few days, haven't we? Yeah, really nice. Um, around here, really nice area. And we also bought some duck eggs for the first time this year. Yeah, yeah duck some eggs. some huge chicken egg eggs. Yeah, we got, uh, we got a dozen chicken eggs and there was one box of um, duck eggs. Yeah. But we noticed afterwards there was a name on it, Jackie. Yeah. So we do apologise that they're Jackies. Sorry, Jackie. Oh, great, here we go again. Luckily, these cows were a lot younger and a lot tamer. Just look at all this debris from the recent floods we had. I can't believe I didn't show you the size of the chicken eggs we got. Absolutely huge. And there's your glove everybody. The river beside the canal is called the River Solop. And funny enough it is navigable. To only 35 foot craft though. As you can see there's boats at the end there and that's as far as you can go up it. Although Andrew Yarraton attempted unsuccessfully to make the river navigable in the 1660s. We released a video yesterday of Tabitha's death two weeks after on Sunday. Um, and thank you very much for the nice messages guys, really yeah. do appreciate that. And to lovely, lovely um, Chris Southwood and Catherine Lewis Salt, um, little Louise Salt, not very good really, uh, for your donations. Yes, really nice. thank you very much, mm. do appreciate it. But uh, checked on the CRT website, River 7, and the lock is actually open now. <laughs> The lock got shut on the River Severn, which made us do this diversion. Opened a couple of days later. Um, but yeah, we're the not going to go that way. The now. guy didn't know much, did he, on the no. on the lock? Because he said, "Oh, I don't know when it's going to be open. I've got a clue." When it's be open. Yeah, we're not going to go that way because we want to do it in summer. And there's a couple of other reasons. We think the rivers are a tiny bit boring. Canals are more interesting, aren't they? Yeah. We yeah. shouldn't say that, maybe, but we do prefer the canals. Yeah. Not because of the river flow or anything like that, but. It's, just, nice. more, it's just, just more to look at. And the thing is though, the nearest uh, mooring point from Worcester southwards is about 10 miles. <laughs> and me and Mum would have to walk 10 miles back. <laughs> um, so Seven not, was I think really our limit there. to yeah. be honest, wasn't it? Well, at the moment anyway, until yeah. our fitness gets up a bit maybe. Yeah, we stayed, stayed in a lovely quiet spot back there. Beautiful quiet oh, spot. It's lovely for the really cats. Really quiet. And finally Dad's come out now. I think Mum's put my other hat in the wash. I'll just have to mend this one. Uh, yeah, lovely quiet spot. We had um I'll shut the door. We had some subscribers come see us yesterday, didn't we Mum? Oh yeah, I've been talking to Kath. Hi Kath, I've been talking Hi, to her on, on face on Facebook. Um look, Kath, Shane, yeah. Alex and Jaden. Mm. Hi guys. Hi. And it's funny, over the weekend we run out of cat we run out of cat food. 
So, oh God, bless him. Shane went to Tesco Extra Rare. or Express. I don't know which is the bigger one. And um, went and got us some cat food. Yeah. And really didn't really even nice. want to take any money for it. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, thank thanks, you, Shane. Shane. So nice. The cats really were happy. Nice. They were like, ah, oh, real. Hopefully we we catch up real again. Real cat food. I did give them the wrong information. I did say that we're going to be back this weekend back there, but it's right. Plan so is now to, we're going to yes. do the mid uh, Worcester ring. So we're going to go down uh, Staffordshire and Worcestershire. No, the Birmingham Worcestershire. No, the Worcestershire and Birmingham. Yeah, right. <laughs> down there, back onto the seven, back up onto the Droit Wedge. All right, she's happy. There we go. So the Droit Wedge Canal was built in 1771 with the aim of linking Droit Wedge Spa to the River Severn. And that's all it was until 1854 when the Droit Wedge Junction Canal was built, which linked the Worcester and Birmingham Canal with the Droit Wedge Barge Canal. James Brignoli surveyed the route from the town to the River Severn in 1767 and although Brignoli was officially inspector of the works, he was busy at the time building the Trent and Mersey Canal. The reason this section was built as a broad canal was because it was capable of taking seven trolls, but in 1784 there was a proposal for the Starbridge Canal to be linked here, obviously because the Starbridge Canal didn't want to pay the high tolls on the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal. So they wanted to build their own canal down to the River Severn. But unfortunately this never came to fruition. The canal was abandoned in 1939 and was finally restored in 2010. quick because there's another lock but we just came through uh, Potter's Mill lock I believe um, yeah swans. The lady, lady lives in the um, cottage she lives in the cottage there. Yeah. it's all on private land only for boaters allowed on there um, because obviously this canal was restored in 2010 so they had to buy the land back from her or, so they had to make some sort of agreement and obviously she wants her privacy, a really nice lady. Oh, lovely. And she was there right. for 60 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's been there 61 years, yeah. bless her. So she's seen the canal yeah. um, before it was restored. And I said to her, you, I, you probably didn't even think the canal was ever going to be restored, did you? She said, no. <laughs> so and that would have been a cool she's, um, It was She'd emptied the, the um, lock because there was two swans got stuck in there. Yeah. So she was letting the swans out. And they were having a fight with this, this one behind us. They were yeah. having a fight. A lovely lady. She yeah. helped us through the locks. Really lovely lady. Yeah, Got two, two cats, one called Lady. Yeah. And what was the other one called? 
The one looked like a leopard, it had spots all over it. Oh, crikey, I can't remember, it should have just bloody told me. Yeah, but it's 20 years old, that cat Yeah, was. lady, 20 years old. Oh, it just still running like, about. This looks like Teddy, yeah. Tony's um, cat. Yeah, she emptied the lock because she had to let the swans through, so we had <laughs> one lock on our side, and this lock isn't on our side. So we no, we can see it this. leaking now, so mm. we're just on the next one. I haven't even had my roll no, yet. Gonna have, we're in a flight now, Mum, of five locks. So, so this is number four. Well, you don't, oh. Take it with you. Extension lock. Branch. We're using a different book than Josh got. We're using a Pearson's. Yeah. Hmm. Instead of a Nicholson's, because the Nicholson's one they have, it was really old and the canal isn't even restored on that Nicholson guide. I think guide. those Nicholson guides, they used to be Pearson's, didn't they, years ago? Okay. Yeah, yeah, they got taken over. Company, it? No, it was, it was Pearson's, I think, I don't know. It's Someone... a completely different company. Yeah, but I don't know. I was told it was Pearson's. Then, I don't know, don't worry about it. Whatever. Um, so yeah, we came through, really heavy locks, really heavy paddles. Uh, lock landings are really short as well. Oh, it's just, uh, it's, what a beautiful canal but this it's is. Beautiful. But it's beautiful. The only um, boat that I've got is the gates are very, very heavy and the paddles are very heavy. What did I just say? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a lovely canal, the countryside is beautiful. And another complaint, there is nowhere to moor because uh, it's owned by the fishing. Uh, club most of it along here and it's just oh. all fishing spots really and they're not going to put any more in here because they don't want you to steal their favourite spots uh, here's one now but yeah got a phone call yes. from one of the locks got a phone call from Robert at St John's yeah. Robert garage which we just came back from and we never usually have any good luck but we have actually got some good luck it's the actuator, actuator yeah. that's gone. We already knew that, but yeah. apparently you had to re replace the whole turbo, yeah, turbo, which you do if you're going to get a new one. But he's shopped around and he's managed to find that actuator. Second hand one. Yeah, but without after changing the turbo, which would have been a lot of money. So that was, that actuator is about £200 plus VAT. Yeah. And then he's got to sort out the DPF uh, filter. The filter going to sort that out and he's going to do an engine oil change for us yeah. all for about 400 yeah so oh fantastic really 
we were expecting like 1,300 odd quid, so we're really pleased. We've actually got some good news for once, guys. And uh, the headlights <laughs> go on as well. So. Oh, the headlights don't work now. We were banging it and it was fine, but now it's gone <laughs> completely. It doesn't want to work. So, are they shouting? I've got like the phone. Like to... <laughs> you're banging it and now it doesn't want to work. No. <laughs> I'm on the phone to the, the Robert. And they're shouting, we're, we're trying to do a lock gate, and they're shouting, headlight, headlight, and I thought, yeah. oh. So I managed to get him on, and I said, oh, the headlight's playing up at the um, driver's side. At the, so can you have a look at that? So they're going to kindly have a look at that for us as well. Yeah. But they're going to do the DPF and the service, but they've got to wait for the actuator to be delivered, which hopefully, fingers crossed, is Thursday. When so well, hopefully we get the car back Thursday yeah. evening. It all depends on you know the delivery. Yeah. So otherwise we've got a, me and Josh have got to cycle and go and pick the car up and then we've got to go and take it back Again. on the Monday. Yeah, so I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's about eight mile eight miles to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cycle um, to Audi's in Worcester, we're gonna lock up the bikes there, then we're gonna walk the rest, which is another two miles. So yeah. five mile cycle, two mile walk, and then we're going to go back to Audi and do some shopping. But you know they've got to like let us know really because we need to pick the car up when they close on Thursday. So we need to know if they're going to get it yeah. done or not really. But yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> through all the locks, and now we've just got a nice cruise to Joint Witch. Hopefully there'll be a space in the base. <laughs> The Droidwish Canal is absolutely beautiful, but unfortunately it's not very friendly to boaters. As you can see, all the way along this canal it's just reedy sides, and when it's not reedy there's a little pontoon for a fisherman. This canal is very much focused on fishing, but wouldn't it be so great to moor here? What a view! There's an old swing bridge here, and funny enough the swing bridge itself is still here on the side over there. Because I'm using the Pearsons and not the Nicholsons, the Pearsons is not as accurate on the route as it is on the Nicholsons and this corner did not look as sharp as it is and we soon found that out the hard way. This fisherman wasn't too impressed that we were disturbing the canal. Unfortunately this is when the GoPro ran out of storage. The GoPro actually gets battered by a branch in a minute but unfortunately it ran out. Another swing bridge which will never be swung again.
And here's the base on at Witch, where we're going to moor for a couple of days. There's also water here. Started walking nine, didn't we? Uh, we stopped yeah. since then. Oh, and just sat is, down. Oh, um, just let the kittens three out. Three o'clock oh, now. Oh, can you shut that door, Andy? Sorry, I've forgotten to shut the door in between. Well, Leave what? it open if you want. It's, but it's look, <laughs> just shut my back so they don't get in my bedroom. Yeah. So get underneath the. We're more up in, in Drightwich Basin now. <sighs> Two day mooring here. Yeah, the pontoon's about like 20 foot though. Yeah. <laughs> so we're stuck right Because we're 70 foot, it's a bit wrong. It didn't look right. Um, yeah. So we've got to get the middle line on the front and the front line. Oh, we just. This is the second lot of ducklings we saw. We saw ducklings, yeah. 14 ducklings at um, Starport, um, yeah. didn't we? And I said to Josh today, Oh God, can you see all these ducks? Don't see them. Mm. And I just turned around and said, George, there's another ten. A, a yeah. female with ten again. I yeah, love this um, time of year, don't you, George? Yeah, I love it. Goes too quickly there. But then you get excited about it every year. <laughs> every like winter. Then I get also get excited about winter again. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, we I don't I'm oh these people that are more in the marinas and the winter oh, we just love mm. the winter. It's yeah. so quiet. And but this, this, sorry Josh, this Droitwich Canal, we haven't seen, we've only seen the, an electric boat that takes people out, I mm, think. That's it. That's, that's it today. Um, we're here in the basin, we're not alone, there is a canal time boat just over there. So, yeah, and there's this pontoon at the front going that way. So we can't really let the cat Pontoon out, going this way, and the pontoon mm. going this way, so one side of because Olive. Yeah, it's so. totally secure here, there's a gate on it and everything. Well, like Langoffin Basin, Langoffin Basin didn't have a gate or nothing. No. But this one's so secure, and the water point right literally there. Yeah. Uh, we haven't come on the outside, because that, that's, that's the water point there on the outside. Um, so we might get some people coming in for some water. I don't know, we haven't seen anybody though. Mm. We have got a canal boat behind us, but I don't yeah, know if they're going to come they're this far. They're quite far behind us, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know where they're going to moor. There's, they might have moored at the start. Because this is the only mooring for six miles and six lots <laughs> on the canal. So it's a bit stupid, but um, yeah, we crashed, didn't we? At that really tight corner. Because <laughs> there was the, a fisherman there. Such a miserable. I, I know it sounds like I'm moaning all the time, but such a miserable. I was smiling, I got oh God, like that. He was just like a face. I like he bloody yeah, swallowed a wasp. Like, what are you doing in my way? God. Get him away. Rude, just, really rude. And probably saying below his breath, like. Oh, come on, hurry up. Yeah. Because we didn't realise the corner's that tight. Um, because in the Nicholson guide, it will, it's more like accurate, the, the route of the canal. Yeah, it's like bent. But with the Pearsons, or... you get more information. But yeah. it's um, less accurate to the route. And it didn't look that bad of a route. Uh, no, it bent. didn't, did it? No. It didn't look like it, it was yeah. like a complete like left hand well, turn. Unfortunately, as we. Uh, hit this bend, the GoPro uh, ran out of storage. I don't know why. <laughs> should, have been we should have cleared the uh, SD card from the last. So I don't think you got it really, did you? Because we were, we were concentrating, trying to get everything off the yeah. top. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to walk to Aldi's, it's not far from here, take the trolley and do some shopping. Just a little bit. Not really, do we? Yeah, just a few bits, drinking that. Um, I think that's it because the kettle's going. Right, thank you very oh, much for watching, guys. Hotel. Oh, I've got to do the You were making a cup of tea, Andy. Yeah, but you said I've got to do the Oh! And just like that, guys, what? the rain's here. Oh, not brilliant! You haven't <laughs> left anything out, have you? No. We are wow. lucky in some respects. We've had two bits of luck now. You said it was going to rain today. Look how heavy it is. The car and the rain. Mm. But we do need to put the water in because I was going to do a wash. Yes. We were 100%. Wow. Oh, look at that. That was just all the sun, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, we've let the kittens out. Mm. Oh, wait. So, oh. <laughs> you and you. And you. They're a bit, they're a bit lively because they've been stuck in all night and all day today. Jiggly puffs. So they're a bit lively. 
aren't you? But, um, Beautiful. Yeah, we're going to go off on Tuesday, three day morning. I mean Wednesday. Uh, and we're going to head on to the WB. Um, Worcester and Berks. No, Worcester and Berks. Wor uh, Worcester and Birmingham. Sorry. Yeah. And we're going to head down it to the mid uh, Worcestershire ring. Um, and hopefully on Thursday we should get full. Oh, it's going to be a bit of a pain guys if we've got me and Josh have got to go and pick the car up mm. so we've got a ride and walk to pick the car up and then we have to drop it back off again yeah. Monday it's going to be very annoying so I'm hoping the part's going to come Ooh. in good time on Thursday and they, yeah. and they do it thank you very much for watching yeah, please thank like you. and subscribe Hopefully the part will be here, yeah. yeah. And thanks so much to Charlotte Duffy because she's the one that recommended. Mm. The other one wasn't very good, but this one she recommended is brilliant, thanks. Yeah. They're really nice guys. Alright then, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.